Hi guys, so the Daily Mail and the Express are pro-Tory, pro-Brexit newspapers whose readership is generally your average Joe or Josephine on the street. Now the Spectator is a different kettle of fish. The Spectator attempts to cater for the more refined, more elite Brexiteer, the Jacob Rees-Moggs, the Andrew Neils of this world. Now I want to show you part of this article that was published a few days ago in the Spectator. It says here, the Brexit bounce is underway. And I just want to read the first paragraph because the rest of the article just reinforces this. But there's a huge problem in the first article, the first part of the article. It says the collapse in UK EU trade after the 1st of January was widely reported. What has not been reported nearly as much is that UK exports have made a near complete recovery, near complete um, they were up 46.6% in February after falling 42% in January. Imports are not there yet. They are up 7.3% in February after a fall of 29.7% in January. The one prediction I'm happy to make is that they will recover too. So basically the article is saying that things are pretty much back to normal. You know, there was a, a dip, but they're back uh, to the way they were before. Now the problem with this is that they're looking at just percentages and not real numbers. What I mean by this is, let's imagine for a moment, in, uh, exports from the UK to the EU are 100. Let's say 100 million, 100 billion is not important. Let's just choose a number 100. Now, if they dropped in January by 42%, that would arrive at 58. So not 100, but 58. But if they increased again, by 46.6%, it doesn't bring us up to about 90, it brings us up to 84. Because the 46.6% is not on 100, it's on the 58. Which means that, yes, there was a recovery, but not on the 100 from before, but on the 58 that was in January. Now, by looking at just these numbers, you would imagine everything was back to normal, they're not. Now, yes, was there a recovery? Of course, there was a recovery. I think what's more important is where did the recovery take place? Because I've talked about before on the channel, both in live streams and in videos, about how certain businesses are able to take on this extra cost. Some businesses are able to hire more staff, throw more money at the problem. And these are generally large corporations, big businesses who are able to look at the extra cost of exporting and say, look, we can take the hit. Many small enterprises and small businesses can't t afford to do that. They end up having to lay staff off or close their company altogether or try to export more to other countries or just focus on the domestic market. So exports, yes, are up, not to the extent that the uh, Brexiteers and the Spectator hope are, but what's interesting would be to see where this increase has taken place. Is it large companies that have adapted, who are willing to take on this extra cost in, in order to continue to export? What small businesses are doing? How are they surviving at the moment? Because if this is something that helps big businesses at the expense of small businesses, this is not good for the general economy. Remember, a lot of these large corporations will shift their profits offshore to avoid paying taxes. The small enterprises, if they have to lay off staff in order to survive, this is going to have a bigger, a bigger impact in the local economy. But once again, this is Brexiteers trying to paint a more positive image of Brexit when in reality it's not so rosy. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?